2017 is an exciting year for heavy duty trucks. Not only do we get a new Super Duty, but we also get updated General Motors trucks. This is the Silverado 2500 HD, with the new and class leading Duramax diesel engine. This review will not only cover this configuration, but also the entire heavy duty Silverado lineup. So let's go ahead and check it out. We are pleased to announce our new partnership with Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky. If you would like to check out their beautiful dealership and extensive inventory of new Chevys, then we have provided a link to their website in the video description. This is the key fob for the keyless entry system, which is standard on the vast majority of models. You do also get a regular key to start it up. If you opt for the LTZ or higher, you will get remote start. Let's start by checking out the new stuff under the hood. Of course the big news under the hood this year is the new Duramax diesel engine, but you can still choose a powerful gasoline V8 as well. That 6 liter V8 is the standard engine, and it produces 360 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque. A lot of you, however, will opt for the new 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8. This engine is a big improvement over the outgoing Duramax, with class leading horsepower of 445 and 19% more torque at a massive 910 pound feet. The gas engine will be paired to a high dramatic 6 speed automatic whereas the Duramax gets an Allison 6-speed auto. And all HDs can be had in 2 or 4-wheel drive. Now let's check out the exterior design and specs. Up front you've got a bold chrome grille which Chevy is nice enough to include on even the base work truck trims. We have the popular Z71 off-road package, which blacks out the top and bottom portions that would otherwise be chrome on the regular model. The Custom Sport and Midnight Editions give you body-colored grills. This hood scoop is new for 2017, and it signifies that you have the diesel. The grille nicely integrates with the headlights. You have the signature split design, and the headlights themselves are halogen projector beams on all models. These fog lamps are standard on the LTZ and above. The front bumper would be body colored on the high country.
Since this is a heavy duty truck, it is plenty capable of mild off-roading, especially with the Z71 package. That package gives you 35mm twin tube gas charge shocks, a front stabilizer bar, and an underbody shield. Naturally, since there are a bunch of trim levels, there are also a ton of wheel options. We have the optional 20-inch 5-spoke alloy wheels, and 18s are standard on the LTZ. WT and LT both have 17-inch wheels, and the High Country gets 20-inch chrome wheels. The 3500 follows that same pattern, except that 18-inchers are the largest size available. The brakes are large as expected. They are 13.98 inches in the front and 14.17 inches in the rear, both ventilated discs. The tires are all seasons or all terrains like we have here with the Z71 package. We have the optional trailering mirrors which are heated and power folding. They are also manually extending, and there is an LED turn signal indicator built in. Only the high country is going to get these 6 inch chrome assist step standard. They are optional on all the others. The Silverado HD can come in numerous combinations. For cabs you have a 2 door regular cab, and a 4 door double cab, or larger crew cab. For beds, you have the option between a 6.6-foot standard bed or an 8-foot long bed. This applies to both the 2500 and 3500 HDs. What we have here is the crew cab with the standard bed, which measures in at an overall length of 240 inches. Vehicles this big are not safety tested, but this truck does have lane departure warning and forward collision alert, which vibrate the seat to warn the driver. They are optional on our LTZ, but standard on the high country. By the way, every trim of the 3500 HD can opt for a dually setup instead. Around back you have the typical Silverado look. The taillights are actually not LED like they are in the Silverado 1500, but they have the same look to them. The bumper is chrome on all but the high country, and the Duramax gets this massive exhaust pipe. Of course the big reason for buying the HD is its huge towing abilities. I can't tell you every possible combination, but I can say that the maximum rating for the 2500 is 18,100 pounds. That is for the two-wheel drive Duramax regular cab. The maximum for the 3500 is 23,300 pounds, also with the same setup. You do get a full-size spare tire. The tailgate is remote locking and nicely dampened. This spray on bed liner is optional on all but the high country and the special editions. You do have LED bed lighting and plenty of cargo hooks throughout. All models also get the innovative bumper step to help you get inside. There aren't any fuel ranges since the EPA doesn't test heavy duty trucks. The actual fuel tank size is 36 gallons on all models.
Now let's check out the interior of this capable truck. If you haven't been in a heavy duty truck for a while, then you are in for a shock. On higher end models like this one, things are especially luxurious. We have the cocoa and dune leather combo, but you can opt for dark ash or jet black colors on the LTZ. WT gets vinyl seating, LT cloth, and the high country can be had with a rich looking saddle color. The door trim of the Silverado is very nice for a pickup truck. The armrest is padded with stitching, and so is this area. This silver interior trim is specific to the Z71 package, and the two front windows are fully automatic. These two-person memory functions are included on both the LTZ and High Country. The mirrors, pedal, and seat positions are all remembered. The front seats on the top two trims are 10-way power adjusting. The WT and LT have manual seats. Like I mentioned, this leather seating comes on LTZ and up. And only on the high country will you get the safety alert vibrating seat as standard. Getting in is not difficult, even for someone short like me. I imagine that it would be pretty difficult without the running boards though. Once inside you'll find plenty of space and a visually appealing look. The materials are high quality. The upper dash is softly padded with stitching throughout. Fit and finish is excellent, but keep in mind that the work truck and LT models won't have these upper class materials. Now let's start her up. Push button start isn't available on any trim. This 8 inch touchscreen is standard on every HD besides the work truck. Chevy says they refined the Duramax, and after starting it up I definitely believe them. The idling is smooth, and there's not a whole lot of noise penetrating into the cabin. The gauges have the traditional Silverado look, with four readouts across the top. The Z71 gets the unique background finish. There is also a 4.2 inch multifunction display, which contains the standard affair of information for the most part. More info can be accessed by clicking to the left. The Silverado steering is hydraulic power assisted and new is what they call digital steering assist. The wheel itself is leather wrapped with stitching on LT models and up. On the left you have your cruise controls, collision warning, and your wheel is heated on high country models. The right side contains the rest of the controls for the display, phone, and voice. The steering wheel is manually tilt and telescoping on all Silverado HDs. Over here you've got truck controls, including the trailer brake. And here are the four wheel drive controls. And the headlight controls. In something as big as this, one has high expectations for storage. The Silverado doesn't disappoint giving you probably the biggest center console in the industry. This would definitely fit tools or a computer, for example. It also has a 12-volt outlet, 
and two USBs and an aux jack. On the top you've also got a wireless phone charger. You'll need a compatible phone for this to work, or an adapter phone case. There's another giant pit up here, with five more connections. One of them is a household outlet, so that's useful for anything you've got. Every Silverado has a column shifter. Manual shifting can be done through these toggles. Also pressing the end activates tow mode. When you shift into reverse, a rear view camera will appear on almost every trim. In addition to having a very wide viewing angle, it also has trajectory and parking sensors on the high country. Tucked below the climate controls are a row of toggles for various functions. The first button is for the power adjusting pedals. They are standard on high country or available through the LTZ Plus package. This one is for the traction control and your bed lighting. And you've got power buttons for the parking sensors, lane departure alert, and hill descent control. The last button is for the exhaust brake. Dual zone automatic climate control is standard on the LTZ and above. The knobs have a great hefty feel. Everything is big and well labeled, so it should be no problem to use with gloves on. Off to both sides are the heated and ventilated seat controls. Heated seats are standard on the LTZ, and you can choose to heat the bottom or back cushions independently. Seat ventilation can be added to the LTZ, and of course it's standard on the high country. The standard audio system on most HDs is a 6 speaker sound system, but on this LTZ we have the premium Bose 7 speaker sound system. The sound quality is quite good. You do have physical knobs and buttons to control the audio and the Chevy MyLink system. And speaking of MyLink, let's take a quick look. I want to start off by showing you just how fast and responsive the system is. You have presets across the bottom of the home screen, though they can be accessed on any screen. Of course Bluetooth is standard, and you can control it here or through the steering wheel. Across the top there are always shortcut buttons to some of the other functions. In phone you can access all of the information synced over, like your contacts. Again scrolling is very responsive. Projection is where Android Auto and Apple CarPlay show up when you plug your compatible phone in. The High Country also comes standard with navigation. It has a variety of modes, including this 3D view. You can enter addresses manually or use points of interest like I'm doing now. OnStar services come standard, and if you click Wi-Fi you can get the password for the 4G hotspot. You get three months or three gigabytes of data as a trial. Thank you. Goodbye. That's all I'm going to go over for this video, but if you'd like to see a more detailed look at the Chevy MyLink system, including the settings, then check out our dedicated tech help video. A link is provided in the video description.
your auto dimming mirror with OnStar and SOS buttons. The universal remotes are up here. The window is power sliding on LTZ and higher. A power sunroof is optional, even on the high country. It does have a wind buffer. And you have the sunglass holder up here as well. Overall, the cabin of the Silverado HD has a lot to like. Not only do you get tons of space, but it is also legitimately luxurious, and it has plenty of technology as well. That noise is the new rear seat reminder. If the rear doors have been opened during or before the latest trip, it will remind you to check back there. Now my brother will show you the rest of the Silverado. Before we get in, I want to point out that the rear doors open at a very wide angle, so loading in items shouldn't be too bad. The door trim in the rear is exactly like the front, soft touch plastic where the elbows rest, and padded plastic above. The back windows are auto down, but not auto up. You've also got plenty of door storage. Space-wise, the Silverado HD fares pretty well against the competition. For the crew cab, you'll find 40.9 inches of legroom and 40.5 inches of headroom. The seats are really soft, and they can fold up. Getting into the back is easy with our assist step and grab handle. In the center you'll find several small storage areas, and a 12 volt power outlet. On the roof there are some bright LEDs, a nice headliner, and an assist grip. The armrest in the back is dominated by the cup holders, but it is leather wrapped. Behind my 5'8 brother, I find an enormous amount of space, with room for my feet as well. And with the seat scooted fully back, I still have around 4 inches of legroom. So my basic opinion of the Silverado's rear seat is very positive. There is ample room, the seats are comfortable, and everything feels premium, especially in our loaded up LTZ. Just like the drivers, you'll find a 10-way power adjusting seat on the LTZ and High Country. The dash is all padded plastic, and the stitching is a nice touch. Silverados also get this utilitarian style glove box, 
which opens in two parts. The lights gently fade in. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our first of many new Chevy reviews on this brand new 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD LTZ Z71 Duramax Crew Cab 4x4. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy, and don't forget to join us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. Thank <laughs> you.